Hello everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel, Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. Today, I'm gonna show you how I made this a little pumpkin is on the way balloon arrangement and welcome sign. And I actually made this with no easel because I couldn't find mine. This will be perfect for baby showers. So if you wanna see how I made this, just stay tuned. So I'm starting off with some burnt orange acrylic paint and a sponge brush. Now this sheet of acrylic, I got it from Amazon and it came in a pack of three. It's 18 by 24 inches. And it's a pretty thin piece of acrylic, so it's kind of flimsy, but it does the job for what I'm trying to do. Now, as you can see, I am painting one side of the acrylic sheet by making some diagonal strokes. So I'm starting from one direction and going from the top to the bottom, and then I'm gonna go to the other direction and make diagonal strokes that way. Now it's up to you if you wanna paint the entire side of the acrylic sheet or leave like the outer border of the sheet clear. Now I did leave the film still on the other side of the sheet, so that's why it doesn't look completely clear. So now I am actually gonna be recycling some balloons from a balloon garland that I made for a wedding um, I will actually post the link to that wedding and show you, but these are tough text lace balloons in 12 inches and five inches. So I'm going to be using tough text lace balloons as well as some tough text orange balloons in five inches and tough text black balloons in five inches. So what I'm doing is recycling these balloons. I'm untying them from their clusters because they have um, deflated over time and I'm just putting some more air in them. You can use a hand pump or, or an electric pump, it doesn't matter, but I'm just pumping some more air in some of the balloons, giving them their firmness back. I didn't have to do that to all the balloons, just some of them. And now I'm just twisting them back into small clusters. Now I'm gonna do my usual method of tying the necks of the balloons together. And that's how I'm connecting my clusters. So I can't tell you exactly how many balloons I used for this arrangement. I lost count while I was making it, but I would say for this first cluster that I'm making right here, it's about 20 balloons. The first two smaller clusters had about six balloons in each of them. And this bigger cluster I'm tying on has about eight balloons in it. So it's about 20 balloons. And then I'm gonna take a 260 balloon and I'm gonna tie it around one balloon in that cluster. And I'm gonna be adding on another cluster of balloons and there's about 16 balloons in that cluster. So basically I'm just wrapping this 260 around several balloons in each of the clusters to make sure that they are connected and nice and secure. And then I'm just gonna tie the 260 balloon into itself two times. So this is about 36 balloons total. Now what I'm gonna do is take a nail and I'm gonna poke two holes at the top and at the bottom of this acrylic sign. The holes are gonna be about one and a half inches apart from each other. And it's a good thing that I'm using a piece of thin acrylic because it made it easy for the holes to go through. And you wanna make sure that you poke it on the opposite side of the painted surface. Now you wanna take a scissors, poke it in that same hole and really deepen that hole up because you wanna be able to put a zip tie through both of the holes. And make sure that the ridged side of the zip tie is facing outward. Now what I'm gonna be doing is attaching this sign to a balloon column stand. Cause remember I said, I do not have an easel with me. And I'm gonna connect it at the top and at the bottom. Now I did do a video on how to make a balloon column stand and it's pretty simple. I'll post the link to that in the description box below this video. Now make sure that the side of the sign that you painted is facing the pole and the side that you didn't paint is facing outward because you're gonna be putting your vinyl signage on the side that you didn't paint. This is very important. Now I'm gonna take my balloon garland base and I'm gonna wrap it around the pole using a 260 balloon. I'm just gonna tie that 260 to one of the balloons in the balloon garland and then wrap that 260 around several times. It's gonna wrap it around the pole, then around the balloon garland, around the pole again, and then the balloon garland again. And then I'm gonna double tie that 260 into itself. Now I'm maneuvering my balloons so that it wraps around in a sort of S shape. And then I'm gonna attach the balloons to the very top of that pole using another 260 balloon. So just wrap it around the pole and then wrap it around the garland. 
and then double tie that 260 into itself. Now I know it's hard to see, but I'm cutting the excess of the zip ties in the back so that they won't pop the balloons. So now I'm attaching another cluster of balloons to the existing arrangement using a 260 balloon. And I would have to say there's about 10 balloons in that small cluster right there. So now I'm just rearranging the balloons because I'm trying to cover up that PVC pipe so that you do not see it. So I'm trying to uh, get it to have a nice shape to it while covering up that uh, pipe. So now I'm adding a small cluster of six balloons to the top because I wanted the shape of my arrangement to curve upward. And again, I'm messing with that bottom of the balloon arrangement because I want the balloons to cover up the PVC pipe, but I also want them to spread out and touch the ground. I don't want them just sitting up there like that. So I twisted in a couple more dupes to get the look I wanted. So now it's time to add the five inch decorators. So I double stuffed a black balloon inside of an orange balloon in order to get a burnt orange color. And now I am tying the necks of the black balloons together to make a dupe. You want to make sure when you're double stuffing balloons that you tie the inside necks together, not the outside ones. Now I'm twisting small dupes of my five inch balloons together into a pearl cluster. And I'm also adding some five inch lace balloons onto this cluster. Make sure you're double twisting your dupes inside of these clusters or they will pop out. So I cut a 260 balloon in half and I'm going to tie one half around one end of the cluster and another half around the other end. And then I'm just going to use those halves to tie this cluster into the arrangement. Now when attaching my pearl cluster, I want the cluster to look like it's nestled inside the arrangement and not on top. So I'm going to be rearranging it to get it uh, to the way I want it. The goal here is to cover up gaps and add complexity to the balloon arrangement. Now, as you can see, there's a gap right there on the left hand side. So I'm using a 260 balloon to attach two of those balloons together to help close up that gap. And then I'm going to blow up two more of those 12 inch balloons to about nine inches and twist those balloons into that gap right there. I'm also going to be extending my pearl clusters by twisting in some more five inch decorators. And as you can see, I added a pearl cluster at the top as well. And I'm going to be twisting in a couple more five inch decorators into that one as well. And I'm twisting in some more five inch decorators at the very top as well to extend that cluster also. Lastly, I'm adding a balloon that I underinflated to about eight inches and tied it at the top so I can give my arrangement a peak. So now I'm making a faux floral arrangement for this. And I took a little floaty that you can get from the 99 cent store. I cut it in half and I'm taking some duct tape and I'm gonna put it inside of the floaty and use that to attach it to the side of my acrylic sign. I'm gonna press on it to make sure that it stays in place. Now I'm gonna be adding some dry palm leaves as well as some type of um, pumpus grass. I don't know the exact type of pumpus grass this is, but I got all my faux florals from Hobby Lobby like usual. I love their faux florals. I think they look very natural. And now I'm gonna be adding my vinyl signage to the acrylic sheet. I do have a tutorial on how I make my vinyl signage. I will link that video in the description box below. Make sure you're attaching the vinyl to the side of the sheet that was not painted. The vinyl will not stick on the painted side. So I decided to add a bit more color to my floral arrangement by adding some burnt orange reddish type of florals. So here is the finished product. I purchased those cute little pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale for half off. Now I did make a second faux floral arrangement to fill in that gap right there at the bottom right of this welcome sign, but I wasn't really sure if it would be too much. So what do you think? 
Let me know in the comments section below which one of these arrangements you prefer. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.